What's up, bikes? I'm Allie, and this is SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Grab and Go Lunches will continue at Mathis and SMS on May 21st. All following rules still apply. Seniors, information on graduation, yearbook surveys, and dual credit is posted on Schoology. Make sure and check that out. Cheer, Viket, and player audition information is also posted on Schoology. Check that out if you're interested. Now over to weather after this quick commercial break. Hey. I'm gonna go home and watch some Disney Plus. See you tomorrow. Be safe, there's supposed to be a nasty storm. We're tracking round two of winter weather this week. Look at this. What's up guys? It's your guy Elias Mosier here and hey, I got a great product for you. It's called SVTV live streaming, okay? We want to get this done so we can see all those sports like go touchdown bowl, man. Like get a strike, my dude, and golf. Like, you know, these great sports. If you want to see them live, all you got to do is go down and hit that subscribe button. Just Smash that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification and like the video. Thanks, guy. See you later. News team, assemble! Well, as we're approaching the wettest time of year here in Kansas, it's been fairly dry. Over the past 13 days, less than a half inch of total precipitation, and unfortunately, that trend looks to continue here throughout the next few days. So taking a look at the weather pattern, it shows a ridge of high pressure near the Rockies that's indicated by those darker shades of pink and purple. That's a source of some warmer weather. And then to our east, this green shading is some troughing, and that means cooler weather. So here in Kansas, we are in the battle zone between the warm and the cool. What does that mean for us? Well, here's our forecast showing highs in the mid to upper 60s today, and then Tuesday and Wednesday, highs in the low 70s. Now, this will come along with low humidity as well. So overall, some nearly perfect weather continuing through the middle of this week. And also on Wednesday, we track a risk for severe weather in the Nebraska Panhandle. That keeps us dry. But later in the week, storm chances will finally begin to return as the weather pattern will favor a more active stretch of weather. This is coming in Thursday night, Friday, and into next weekend as well, more chances for showers and thunderstorms will be on the way. And checking out the SVTV 7-day forecast, you can see that stretch of beautiful weather continues. The only catch is that there's not going to be a lot of sunshine. Still could be a peak, few peaks of sun here and there, Tuesday and Thursday especially. But then the rain chances begin to increase and our temperatures warm up. Check that out next weekend. We're forecasting highs in the 80s for both Saturday and Sunday. So there's your latest weather forecast. Allie, back to you. Thank you. That's all I have for today, Vikes. I'll see you next year.